Hi everyone, this is Elise with Elise's Acrylic Pouring. So today I am working on another triangle. Um, one of my friends has requested it, but he wants black, red, and silver. Um, the colors I used in my Red Lovers Dutch Pour, that's what he would like. Um, I already did one, but I was not a fan of it. What I did is I put white cell activator and then I put black on top of it. And um, I was hoping that it would define the cells, but it just, it did in some parts, which I loved, but then other parts I had white, and then of course with the red, it created pink. So I just, <laughs> I'm doing it over because I'm pretty sure he doesn't want pink <laughs> in part of it. So um, let's get down and see, wish me some luck on this one. Okay, so I got my 12 inch triangle down. I'm gonna lay my Glidden Essentials. Okay, so this is the Napthal Red by Golden. Okay, and then I'm gonna use Oxide Black by um, Amsterdam. And I'm gonna do some Interference Red. Silver. This is Extreme Sheen's um, Deco Art Silver. And the last one I used the Pearl X Pigment Powder Silver, and it looked exactly like pewter. <laughs> and I put pewter in there too, and that really overtook um, a lot of the like this half of the painting. So at the end, I'll show you guys the first one I did, so you can. And then I'm going to put a little bit more naphtha red in. And this um, actually has the naphtha red. You can, I don't know if you can kind of see a little bit of a glisten in it. What I used is this Milky Way pigment powder. Um, and this is by... Um, hello, drawing a blank. This is by Color Art, um, and you can actually add them to anything. I want to make sure I had you guys in view. So yeah, Milky Way. Let me open it up for you because it's just beautiful. And they've got these really just gorgeous, I mean, big flakes. They're just beautiful, and you can add them to anything. You can add them to resin. You can add them in your acrylic pouring on I mean, anything. So that's like the amazing beauty. So you can make anything you want shiny. So, okay. And then this is the, um, I always say this one wrong. I think it's Macaceous, Macaceous. I don't know. Um, by Golden, I'll have everything in the description. But um, yeah, this is by Golden. It's like Macaceous or something, iron oxide. It's very different, it's gritty. It's got like a gritty texture to it. Okay. And then I'm going to be using um, persimmon by, um, oh goodness. <laughs> Turn the blow dryer on, sorry you guys. This is Persimmon by Color Art Primary Elements. And just, again, a gorgeous color. Oh my goodness, I just, it's just to die for. Okay, 
really hope this one turns out. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more interference red. And then just a touch more silver. Okay, you guys, oh, wish me luck. And then this is my black cell activator. It is Australian Floetrol, which is four parts that, and then one part of the oxide black. And it's good to, you know, stir it up before you use it. Cause I keep them in these containers, you know, and that's the consistency. So this is what I always like to say, is it goes in a steady stream, and then bloop, 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 bloop. It's kind of, I'm holding it really high up, but. Steady stream, bloop, bloop maybe. <laughs> it's cause I'm holding it so far up, but that's the consistency. It doesn't really, it leaves like a mound for one second and then it disappears. Okay, you guys, I really hope this works. I always get like in my head whenever it's a commission piece. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like that. blow out right there just because oh look at those cells they're beautiful I didn't want to I did not want to mess with them I'm gonna put you guys on pause and I'm gonna set up for a switcheroo really quick and I will be right back. Oh, I'm sorry you guys, I thought the camera was recording and it wasn't, so I already did a part right here of the switcheroo. Um, and I have another bloom on a tile right here. I am going to uh, probably do it right here because I, <laughs> like a dummy, um, put my tile on top of my painting and it dripped so now I've got like a weird thing right there Thank you. 
not happy about that hot pink right there. I don't know why it went hot pink. Holy crap, like this is gonna be the death of me. I can't get it right. Okay. I'm just gonna stop there. <laughs> I think I need to switch things up. I think I need to get out my black, my black, um, house Okay, paint. needless to say, it's pretty, but, ooh, like this one's gonna be the death of me. Like I am trying so hard and I think that's the problem is I'm trying so hard. So I'm gonna keep it because it is gorgeous, but I'm gonna try again with black house paint instead of white because I think obviously red and white made pink, <laughs> duh. You know what I mean? Like I should know these things. But um, yeah, let me bring you down um, and do a close up and tomorrow we'll do another one because it's just, I don't know. Maybe I'll send pictures to him and just be like, what do you think of these? <laughs> But I, he's a guy, he's not gonna want pink. At least, I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking it like usual. So, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, and if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. And then stick around for the next video. Thanks you guys, bye. Hey you guys, so I just wanted to show you the first one I did and <laughs> oh my gosh, it just makes me laugh looking at it right now. <laughs> oh, it's so awful. <laughs> but I actually used um, white, red, and then black cell activator. And um, so yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing's so awful. But it, this is just the journey of learning. <laughs> But yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a little a little sneak peek, but thanks for watching. Bye.